What's up, ladies and gentlemen? Quick little shout out to our sponsor today, known as iMobi. They make this awesome software known as AnyTrans, which is, of course, what I'm going to be going ahead and reviewing today. Now, this is known as AnyTrans because it's short for Any Transfer. And the reason behind this is that you can transfer anything to anything. In this case, we can transfer stuff from an iPad, which is an iOS device, directly to an Android device, which is my ZTE Axon 7. How cool is that? So, as you guys can see right here, there are a few other options inside of the software. It's not just one little thing, but that is the main aspect of the software. As you can see, you can merge devices if you want two different devices to have every single thing uh, identical. You can also add content. So if you want to add some things from Windows that are going to be transferred over as well, you can do that. You can also add certain content from one device to the next. You can also add content from the PC or a flash drive. But here's a cool thing. You can also add content directly from iTunes. Finally, there's the clone device, which is what I just mentioned. So it's pretty awesome. Um, the UI is really cool as well. It comes in these cool little gradient bubbles. It kind of reminds me of the Instagram logo. Just a little random comment right there. But enough chit chat. Let's go ahead and jump into the main feature. So when you jump into the section that transfers data, as you can see, it shows you two different devices. One is an iOS device, my iPad. The other is an Android device, which is my ZTE. You can also add an iCloud account directly in here if you want to transfer stuff directly from an iTunes, uh, an, an iCloud account directly into an Android device. How absolutely insane would that be? Now, this video is more relevant than ever considering the fact that the iPhone 8 just went ahead and came out and the iPhone X came out. So a lot of you guys on Android might be switching to iPhone. Maybe not. Maybe it's the other way around. Maybe a lot of you guys are like, okay, they didn't bring the headphone jack back so let's go ahead and switch to the note 8 instead if you guys want to do that feel free regardless of the case you can transfer all your old data directly to your device using this simple software heck if all your device is on the cloud and ios uh, and not on ios and is in maybe apple's cloud software or otherwise known as icloud you can go and transfer directly from there as well but for now we're going to keep things simple and just a transfer content from one device to the next so this is the way that we want to do things so my target device of course in this case is going to be the axon and as you can see i'm going to transfer let's see i don't want to transfer movies it's going to take forever ringtones maybe you know why not books okay photo library that's probably going to take a little bit as well um actually you know what why not messages that's eh, you guys can go and do that and finally i really don't want my messages on my ipad and in this case calendar why not let's go ahead and transfer all that data and just like that two buttons you're set to go look at this it's starting to transfer all my songs directly onto my ipad now this is going to take a little bit of time so give it a little bit and after it transfers all the data it's also doing something else let's say you have something in a format that only is uh, only works on Android and that particular format will not work on iOS. Here is the coolest thing It will automatically convert that file and transfer it onto iOS or Android or vice versa Depending on which way it is I know there's a lot of files that only work with iTunes that wouldn't typically work with Android But no need to worry this awesome software right now You can go and transfer everything and it will do everything on its own without you ever having to mess with I don't know conversion software or anything of that sorts so now that you guys know the overall gist of the software, I do want to show you guys something cool. There is something known as the iCloud Manager in there, this and an iTunes Manager. So it's a pretty cool way to manage everything you have inside of iCloud in one go. There's also something known as the Media Downloader. So if you have something on Metacafe, Instagram, BBC, or even YouTube, you simply enter the link right here and it will directly download that. Now, why would this be useful? Well, let's say you have a YouTube video and you just found this epic new song. It's not available on Spotify yet and you really want to listen to it over and over. Well, paste the link directly into this, download it, and then use the software to transfer it directly onto your device. How awesome is that? Now, the last section here is your AnyTrans appearance. Get this, it actually even has different looks and feel to it. So you do have to download it and it takes a little bit of time. But with that said, well, not a little bit of time, but like one second. And afterwards, your software will actually have its own feel to it. Unfortunately, it didn't work this time. Let's try again. Now, with that said, I want to show you guys some of these bubbles as well. So let's jump into maybe the merge device. So in this case, you would need one iPad. There's also the add content. So if you want to add anything from all the hundreds of files on your computer, you can go and do that to either of your devices devices, whether it's iOS or Android. And of course, you can also uh, take content directly from a flash drive. So if you have maybe, I don't know, in this case, I don't have any flash drives connected, but if you do and you want to transfer all your photos or videos from one flash drive directly onto your device in one go, instead of, you know, having to jump into Windows, 
push everything into iTunes, sync everything, which takes forever. Well, just like this, you're set to go. Now earlier I mentioned the clone device option, so that's pretty awesome as well. Finally, uh, there's an option to choose a category below and you can actually manage your iOS content in that way. So if you want to manage your calendar, your contacts, messages, notes, videos, photos, Safari, file system, and books, you can do that all individually. And I'm going to go jump into storage. And just like that, it has its own built-in file manager as well. So as you can see, this is no joke. This software really can do everything. The only downside to this I can see is some of you guys might freak out when it automatically installs any trans onto your Android device. And it just does that so it can transfer things just a little bit easier. And yes, you do have, a, have to give it a few permissions. So if you guys are worried about privacy, I tell you, this is a respectable company and they will do nothing with your data. It's simply data going from one end to the next and you should be perfectly uh, safe when it comes to transferring your valuable data from one end to the next. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If so, leave a like and don't forget to subscribe. That's a simple overview. Go ahead and check out the link below if you want full information on everything. Thank you guys for watching. This is going to be me logging off.